Hey guys! Today we're going to be making um, some of these really really cute, fun, um, hand painted shoes. This is something I think I did like high school like a long time ago but with very very little planning um kind of just I think, I think it was like fabric markers I took and I drew on a pair of shoes um so we're gonna okay this thing that I did years ago but with new materials with new designs um and with better planning for sure Okay, so there's going to be a few things you're going to want um, when making these shoes, so it's entirely up to you. Um, I'm very messy when making um, anything in art. That's why I'm taking these precautions and using these materials. It's currently being made uh, when we're in quarantine. Um, quarantine day, big old question mark, I have no idea. In the midst of doing all like my work for school, I kind of wanted to do something different and do something fun and just kind of relaxing um, that isn't due for a grade basically. So you're gonna want a pair of white sneakers like this and I got these at Target. They have the same ones from when I did this a long time ago so I'm so excited. Um, but you're gonna want a pair of white sneakers um, mainly just because the color will just show up better and it's kind of like a canvas almost because canvases are white um so that's kind of why i picked white shoes um you're gonna want some painter's tape or general purpose tape um because you're gonna want to put this anywhere where you don't want paint to go um so for me basically i'm a five-year-old when i'm painting i need all the help i can get to make sure that it doesn't become this huge mess so you're gonna want some of that you're gonna want a primer like i said all of these things are optional you don't have to use them but like I said, I want to make sure that these come out as well as possible. Um, so you're going to want a primer and a sealer. So primer, do your painting, and then do your sealer. Medium. Sure. Primer, paint, sealer, whatever. So I literally just used this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch two times um, Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. That for wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I'm going with the more part and running with it. So I already actually sprayed them on and it worked really well. Um, so if you have some of this, go for it. Do it outside though. I did it, I did it inside because it was raining when I was doing this and I didn't want to like wait and I was impatient. Beautiful day now, I should have did it today. But do it outside because it's gonna smell like spray paint and you don't need to be breathing that in. You're going to want a pencil that's good for mark making that will be kind of light and leave like a really light outline so you're gonna want a pencil and then so I'm gonna use this basically to draw out my whole design first so that I don't have to guess or think about too much where I want the paint I'll draw it out and I'll know exactly and then when I start the paint part I can just go straight in last but not least you're gonna want some fun paints so I'm using these Master Touch acrylic paints. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby, I think. I'm pretty sure Michaels carries them. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, but I know Hobby Lobby does, and they're usually um, on sale. Or you can use your 40% off coupon. Download the Hobby Lobby app and use your 40% off coupon. I don't know if it if you can use it online. I know you can order offline, but I don't know if you can use your coupon online. That's a good question. So hopefully you have stuff because I don't even really know if Hobby Lobby is open. Um, or if it's after, if you're seeing this after this whole quarantine situation, it probably won't be a big deal. You can just go out and get it and it'll be fine. Um, then grab your drink of choice and get started. I have coffee in here because I think it's only noon. It's a little early to be pulling out. The alcohol. We'll save that for during the project when I'm getting really annoyed. Cheers.
smells so stinking cute. I'm so excited. I think this shoe might be my favorite um, because of the flowers, like the watercolor background. And then this one is just bright. It's great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, um, please subscribe to the channel. Also, please leave a comment for what you would like to see. I definitely have a lot of plans for where I kind of want for think. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of <laughs> people who do this for a job. Respect. Okay. Um, and also tag me if you try out these shoes. Tag me in your photos um, at a little bit of Ellis. Um, I'm on Instagram. That's the page you can find these on. Um, and I'll be leaving all the materials and everything that I used um, and the prices of things down in the description box. Is that what it's called? These shoes turned out really, really cute. I'm actually really excited. Also picked out the perfect outfit to do it today because it looks so cute with the jeans and the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. This t-shirt from Target, by the way, I got it in a large, thought it was a medium, but no regrets. It's so comfy, so soft. All right, thank you so much, guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you guys are staying safe um, and are with people that you love um, or even by yourself because sometimes I've realized I'm a lot more of an introvert during this time. So, <laughs> alright guys, thank you so much, love you all, have a great day.